it is very snowy here, will be hovering right around 34 to 36 degrees. I am a glacier guide specializing in ice climbing along with bear viewing. A little bit further this way. Mountaineering has taught me a lot about how to problem solve. Oh my God. I've been charged by black bears. I've been charged by brown bears. I live in a place that gets 42 and a half feet of snow. So I know how to thrive in the face of hardship. I am the youngest person here by almost a decade, but I had a rough childhood. Beautiful. So I had to be an adult from a very young age. It's taught me how to think outside the box to solve problems, and it taught me resilience. Bam! Smack goes the weasel. I got into bushcraft when I was about 11 years old. I've got the whole hierarchy of survival skill sets, catching fish, shooting animals, building shelter. These will serve me well. Hey, Pip, don't want to walk anymore? <laughs> my girlfriend, Catherine, my dog and I are living away from the trappings of modern life. The whole hashtag van life thing, that's not camping, that's just me living everyday life. It's gonna be definitely hard to be away for a long period of time. But we learn the most about ourselves when we're put into difficult situations. Be strong. Mm -hmm. I know I have what it takes. I'm ready and I'm going to win. So that's about three inches of insulation from the ground. Primitive survival has been something very much incorporated in my life for over 10 years. I did six years in the military in the Canadian Armed Forces, where I would specialize in cold weather warfare and survival. So I'm confident about building shelters and making fires in wet, cold environments. Being in the military, I know what I'm capable of, and I'm very methodical with what I do. I think I have a leg up in the competition because I'm a general practice doctor with a high inclination towards emergency medicine and wilderness medicine. I have a previous injury, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make an improvised splint and wrap. With my medical training, anything that you can pull me out for, I'll treat before you get to me. So no pulse and no bleed means that's the correct way to put a tourniquet. Becoming a doctor is expensive. 500K would mean being able to pay off my student loans, and then the rest would go into helping renovations for my mom's home. That would be good for her health. Thanks, Mom. I think I can do this because I'm a little bit of a masochist. I love the type of person you become after the struggle. I'm a doctor, and I'm a soldier, so I have a hell of a lot of mental fortitude. I plan on going day 90 plus. I'm going to be out there as long as possible. Beautiful place. Let's get a fishing rod set up. I'm a commercial fisherman in Alaska. I've been doing that just shy of a decade. It's very, very physical, 20 hours a day, every single day, 100 days straight, and I love it. It's like Christmas for me. You just never know what you're going to get. I was drawn to Alaska for freedom. I work very hard for four months, and then I go on solo backpack adventures in the backcountry. No big surprise to see one now and I truly enjoy the struggle. I don't view pain or suffering as a negative thing. I think it's growth and opportunity. It's warm. I've never pushed myself past 30 days solo. I'm here to do that. And it'll all be OK. I'm leaving a lot of people behind, especially my mother. I'm going to miss her tremendously. But I feel that my entire life has led to this moment. I started fishing when I was three. Harvested my first whitetail buck by myself when I was 11. I want to see how far I can go, and this is an opportunity to push myself, see my edge. The farm I live on is 325 acres. I run a serious prescribed fire program. It's been really interesting to burn the farm and see what comes back. The areas that we've managed to become really beautiful. We blend regenerative agriculture with prescribed fire and natural ecosystems. 
A lot of my neighbors think I'm crazy for doing what I'm doing, but I'm a creative person. The way that I think about things is not always the way that a lot of other people think about them. This is a Kalahari Bushman tracking technique. You know, left, right, left, right, left, right, on down the trail. It helps keep them a rhythm. Once they get the rhythm of the animal, they can track very fast. I was born in South Africa, and my family immigrated to the States when I was small. Shortly after my parents divorced, my father went back to doing his field work in various places, Kenya, Tanzania, and South Africa. And I spent all of my summers with my father in the bush. So I spent a lot of time watching animals before I ever took one. It's made me a more patient hunter and a more observant hunter. And so when I decided to start taking animals, I found that I excelled at it. There you have it, y'all. My sweetheart, Ashley, is back at home waiting for me. I will miss my family, but I know they're in my corner and they'll support me because I have what it takes to win it. Hi. All right, so we got the trap set. This is our bait stick here. Got yourself a dead mouse. I'm a treehouse carpenter, and I am also a professional alpaca shearer. There's probably less than 100 of us in the US that do it full-time professionally. Hunting, fishing, those were things that no one taught me how to do when I was growing up. But it was something that I was always passionate about and that I was interested in, and something that I take very seriously now. But more than anything, the big X factor I have is the time that I spent alone at sea. I crossed the Pacific Ocean in my sailboat. That journey took 90 days. When you're out in sea, you have absolutely nobody to rely on. You don't know how your brain and your body is going to react to that until you've put yourself in those situations. The fact that I have, I think, makes me uniquely qualified. I haven't seen the sun in like eight, nine days. $500,000 would be an absolute game changer for me. I work very physically demanding jobs. When you work in blue collar, you have a shelf life. It would also allow me to help my family in ways that I've dreamed of for years. I come from a family of farmers, and there's not a lot of money in farming. I have a girlfriend that loves me, and I'm going to miss all of those people a lot. But I'm doing this because I think I can win. It's going to be hard on my body. But if I can do 10 years financially worth of work in 90 days, I'm willing to push my body to its absolute limits in order to make that happen for me.